Welcome back, everyone. So what do we know? We know that this week I started off for beer reviews. Beer review number 11 by showing you a craft your own pack with multiple different beers from multiple different companies. Yesterday, I reviewed the beer company New Belgium with their Voodoo Ranger. It was a phenomenal beer. Um, had a decently high ABV and it had um, a citrusy pine flavor that was provided by the hops and the brewing process in between. So today, here's your beer review number 12. Welcome back. So for beer review number 12, we go back to a company that I've already reviewed, and that's Victory uh, Brewing Company, and this one is your Hop Devil. It's your Hop Devil IPA. Um, so far, it's an appealing uh, beer. Label's pretty decent. Um, over here, you have um, all of your uh, uh, information. It's bold, spicy, uh, menacingly delicious. It's a hopped IPA, offers an aromatic punch, and follows through with a lasting full body finish. So we'll see what kind of aromatic punch that is when we actually go to the website. Uh, contents is 12 uh, ounces. We'll also see what kind of varieties that they have for your uh, viewing and uh, you know um, tasting pleasure. Uh, this is a lower alcohol by volume, it's 6.7, and it's a class in, in the ales. Um, uh, interesting, that's cool. Brewmaster's approval, and they put their, his name on there. Uh, Bill Ron. Okay. Not bad. Um, it's from Downingtown, PA. It's a victory beer company, and um, I'd say not bad at all. The appeal rating overall, from when you see this, I would give that. I'd probably give that a 7 out of 10. So, as always. We like to pop these beers open. Let me grab a, a bottle opener and just see if we can get that open. And for our pour. Not bad, the head's decent on it. Uh, transparent golden amber color there, a little bit yellow ale. Let's see. Yep, very hoppy. Uh, hopefully that's a good sign because it lends to its name, Hop Devil. So let's go to the actual website. But how's everybody doing? Good, that's good to hear. Interestingly enough, the New Belgium, I take that back, I was already at the website, I thought it was, the New Belgium website was as similar as to the Victory, but it's not at all. It's taking a little bit of time. They some has some other enjoyable flavors as well from Victory, so if you can get that from, if you're out on the west coast or out in the middle of the country, I would suggest that you uh, try to find this craft beer. Hop Devil IPA. It's bold, spicy, menacingly delicious. This American Hop to IPA offers an aromatic punch and follows through with lasting full body finish. That's exactly what the bottle just stated. Composition, Pilsner, Vienna, medium caramel malts. Hops are Cascade and Centennial, 6.7%. So far, everything that's on this bottle lines up. Food pairings, they suggest cheddar cheese, barbecue ribs, and grilled meats. Serve at 48 degrees, pour gentle to keep the head at bay until the last bit of the bottle, which can be poured with vigor. Head's already gone, so I guess I didn't do the right job. Not a bad beer, though. Uh, availability year-round in 12-ounce bottles, and you can find it on draft. Um, you can buy Hop Devil baseball t-shirts, and you can also... Um, by the Hop Devil t-shirt. Um, nothing else on the beer um, website.
website for this. The flavor that they give, it says it's pine and citrus. You can tell the citrus with the aromas of, and they're saying that's attributed to the American Hulse. The sweetness that they're saying also is coming from the malt. Uh, drinkable hop juiciness is the key while remaining balanced with ample caramel presence. Caramel color, but, um, but do we have a caramel flavor with sugar and sweetness? Let's see. It's hoppy. It's enjoyable. Not one of those uh, beers that I would say punch you in the face. Um... If you want to go towards a hot beer and start light, I would say this is probably one of the better ones for you. If you want something that's going to punch you in the face, I have yet to find something that really did that for me, but it may punch you in the face. And I say punch you in the face a lot, but what I'm saying is, is that a beer that will, you know, let you delve into the flavors that hops and malts can actually let you do. So you can taste the pine, uh, the citrusiness in there as well, sweetness. I wouldn't say the sweetness tastes like caramel. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's sweet. It's very good. So overall, I'd say for my overall rating for flavor, I would give this a uh, nine out of ten. It's enjoyable. I like it. Um, I'm not sponsored by them, so I don't have any type of bias towards them or for them or against them. So nine out of ten. So I'll round this uh, score down to eight out of ten for overall uh, beer uh, rating. And besides that. Um, I have no real complaints. I'll probably be getting this more. I'll see how much the actual six pack of the Hop Devil cost. In other news, I'm going to attempt to try to uh, brew my own beer on Thursday, hopefully, if everything works out. If it doesn't work out, then it's going to be pushed back till somewhere around uh, September. That's what my goal is try to get some type of knowledge other than me actually just consuming the beer that I enjoy. Um, like I've already said, I'll include the Victory Beer uh, website in the uh, comments below. I'll also include my Facebook and Instagram. Please like and follow there. I will do updates as well as fitness and with pizza. I like to create and I like to enjoy things in life. So I hope you like what I provide for you guys. Uh, thank you for those subscribers that I do have. Please subscribe. Tell your friends about my channel. Um, if you find this uh, channel inappropriate, cool. If you don't, cool. It's up to you. Just subscribe. Everybody has choices. But uh, that concludes uh, beer review number 12. I hope you all have a great rest of the week. And like I always say, do things in moderation. Enjoy your beer in moderation. And if you can't do that, don't enjoy it at all. Know where your restraints are. Have a wonderful week. Hello everyone, thank you for watching, subscribing, and commenting, and liking. We're going to have our subscribe button up here. We're going to have a video of the most recent video that we had, which should be beer review number 10. And then right in this section right here, we're going to do a video that YouTube recommends for you. Again, have a good evening.